welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm nicole sorry i've still got my work clothes on my work hair anyway i want to talk about this book got kind of a bookmark in it book of demons a to z of the diabolic by stephen wakefield okay so i've had this book for about a month and i haven't really got a chance to look at it much but i will tell you this if you're looking for a book on Jeff Stevens, this isn't it. Because it also has witchcraft and stuff in it. And I guess you would call it um, satanic witchcraft. I don't really understand why he's got that stuff. I guess I can understand satanic witchcraft, but not witchcraft in general. Why do you have a pentagram in this book? I'd like to start with... Telling you this book recently came out. There's a forward at the beginning. And then it's the A to Z. And I'm going to give you some examples, okay? I'll wait till I get to the P's because that's the part that I had marked. But I want to go on and tell you the second part. There's three parts to this in the appendices. Possession and exorcism. Hierarchies of demons. The Devil's Pact. And then you will have illustrations. And in the illustrations, there are a total of 52. So, it is an interesting book. And it has a lot of information in it. But it is not a book on just demons, if that is what you were looking for. And that is what I was looking for. But it is a useful book. But at the same time... What he describes is a, a pentagram is not what I would describe it as. So, let's go on to the letter P. Packed with the devil is how it starts. It's pretty long. Several pages. Then, it's, um, I, you guys, it doesn't have the pronunci pronunciation. So, my bad. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that part. Pediel? Peg. And it should. See, the point of a book or a dictionary is how the pronunciation so I felt that was the worst part of it is not having it because I could have sworn um, I had some demon books on my Amazon Kindle account that were just like a preview of it so it gives you like <laughs> all of a and a was huge so anyway I thought I had the pronunciation in that one, but the, the main one I was looking at that I guess I should have bought. <laughs> okay, so, paladism, paladis, paladism, I feel like I know that word. Anyway, pemercial, pemiel, pan, pandemonium. Okay, and this is Milton State that this was the location of hell. The word itself suggests loss of control, chaos, and subversion. The overtaking of good by the forces of evil, derived as it was from pan. So, it continues to have stuff like that. This is Pauline Art, a text found within the classic grimoire tradition, which is often cited within demonological tra tracts in spite of what are said to be predominantly angelic entities that are linked to the elements, zodi zodiacal signs, and hours of the day. So it says angels of the air. Gemini. And then it has the one for Gemini. The one for Libra. The one for Aquarius. So on and so forth. So then like I said. The pentacle and the pentagram. And Persephone. Um, hmm. Trying to think. Oh pig. And it's. It's. It quotes a Bible verse, okay? Mark 5, 9 through 16 tells of the Gadarena <laughs> demoniac and pigs have more than once served as vessels for once served as vessels for demons. Certain representations of the Greek Typhon depict him uh, with the body of a hog. It doesn't say what I thought it was going to say. 
and which was the third evil. So, possession. See also disease. With examples throughout the centuries and across the globe, possession has frequently been both the apogee of mystical experience and of malefic terror. Prince of Darkness. I'm trying to give you some prickers. I'm trying to give you some examples. Pseudo Monarchia de Monoam. See Grimoire. <laughs> In other words, see Grimoire. Grimoire. I can't. I don't know what it is, but ever since I got COVID, I can't speak correctly. I'm sorry, guys. So then it's got Python. And then we go into the cues. So, I will say that this is, oh, the word woman, hold on. See, as a sinister figure of all too often, the female gender has been banded as the seducer and tempter of men for some thousands of years. And where women have been the worship figures, the religions have been branded pagan, among others, less palatable terms. Jacob Springer stated that woman... Surpasses man in superstition, sensuality, lying. It goes on and on. Like, since her lack of physical force must be compensated, she seeks alliance with the devil and, aided by her charms, is able to satisfy her vindictive spirits. You heard that right. Ladies and men, you know that that was not right. Like, what the crap? And then we go into X, Y, and Z, which all have a very short section of it. Like one side of a page usually, or two. Zapan is a king of hell. The kids is, I'm not sure a lot of this is correct. I'm not sure. And then we are going into the zodiacal demons. So these are <clears throat> not what you would call what we just spoke about, which were the elemental demons, I think. But it is interesting. So here, Capricorn, Haniel, Malefici, which means evil. Uh, zombies in here, the resurrected, mindless dead that have often been... I apologize, the video was interrupted with a call. <laughs> from my husband. I asked him to call me. Oh my gosh, my lips are capped. Sorry guys. Um, okay, so in the back of the book, I wanted to read this so you can kind of get an idea of what he's like. Okay, it says, it talks about on the left-hand path. He is supposed to be an occultist. Like, he studies it. I don't think he studies it because he is in witchcraft. I think some people just find it interesting, but they're not into it. I don't know how to explain it. So anyway, start out, starts out, demons have long plagued us and haunted us. And then it goes on to talk about tempters towards sin, the weapons of destruction, nightmare visions, and perpetrators of eternal torment. They are also supernatural initiators. They grant wisdom, power, and very possibly riches to those who dare to deal with them. So, the study offers over 1,200 entries on all aspects of the diabolic and serves as an invaluable reference for anyone interested in the overwhelming, confusing, and yet fascinating lore of demons and demonology, including the rites of black magic, goetia, necromancy, and array of practitioners Entities and gods that are to be found there. Do not abandon all hope, those who enter here, but do tread carefully. Show respect and leave a light on lest you lose your way. So, what is my idea? My idea is he does not have a take on this stuff correctly. But, I bought it, so I'm going to read it. I think I'm going to start with A... I, I know it's going to take more than one day to go through A. Oh, not in this book. Never mind. <laughs> the A in the last book I was looking at. 
Yes. Um. Eh, I can't remember, it, but it was a lot more than this. So I think it's going to take me maybe a few weeks if I start with letter A. And if I don't have much time, it can take me 26 days. So, anyway, that is how I feel about this book. <laughs> now I have another thing to review. I've had this for so long, I had just had to get it out there. The next thing is the American Renaissance Tarot. It was just released today, and I'm so excited.